Ezekiel, the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and welcome you to this evening service. Surely the Lord will make this service a great blessing to every one of us. I'm going to share with you the Word of God and a very important topic, curses, curse, cause. Why a curse come in our life? There are many causes, reasons why we have curse in our life. Let me tell you, what do we mean by a curse? What do we mean by a curse? Curse uh, may be opposite to blessing. Then a question comes, what is blessing? Curse is a evil or misfortune an evil or misfortune that comes in our life, that comes in our life, against which we can do nothing. We cannot do anything. An evil or misfortune that comes in our life, as if in response to some uh, implication. Because somebody pronounced a spell on us. Somebody pronounced some evil to happen in our life because of some implication or retribution because they said a ill word against us. An evil or misfortune that comes in our life against which we can do nothing. That's a curse. Our education, our money, our strength, our skill, our knowledge can do nothing. That we call a curse. A misfortune that takes place in our life. We may not be able to give a reason why that misfortune takes place. Whenever I speak about curse, or when I teach about curse, I cannot forget one instance that took place many years back in a family in the southern part of our Tamil Nadu. A very rich family. Husband is working abroad. Very good job. Big bangla type house. Three sons. The first boy would be about uh, three or uh, uh, four or five years, I think. I don't remember the details. The second one must be three or so. The other one was a newborn boy, an infant boy. All three are boys. One day when this mother was bathing the infant, the newborn child, the baby, she heard the scream, a deadly scream of the second boy. She just came running to see what happened. The eldest boy in a play, she just cut the male organ of the Tambi, the second boy. The second one was bleeding. She immediately shouted, driver, driver, driver. Driver came running. She carried the bleeding boy in her hands, rushed to the car. The driver took the car very fast. They went to the doctor's place or a hospital for medical. They reported, she has brought the boy dead. She was broken. She was coming back home. She was able to see a pool of blood in the car shed. She was able to see a pool of blood in the car shed. What had happened, the way she shouted, driver, 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 coming, running to the car. The eldest boy, the first boy, He didn't know what he could do. He went and hid himself under the car. 
when the driver was taking the car fast he ran over the boy and the boy was killed they never noticed it when they came back they were able to see the dead body of the first boy in the car shed she could not bear that shock that time she remembered the baby she leapt in the bathtub she ran to the bath she was able to see the baby boy was dead and floating in the bath almost in 10 minutes time all the three boys were killed all the three boys were killed and she could not bear the shock no mother could bear that shock she died and collapsed this whole news reached the father her husband abroad he became insane he became mad just in 10 minutes time this misfortune took place in that house their money their education their skill their well their property nothing could help them against this misfortune my dear brother my dear sister can we say that it it will not happen in our family can we say that it will never happen in our family only our desire it should not happen only our desire it should not happen many misfortunes all around us take place against which we cannot do anything again many years back in our chennai in the new avadi road a family was going in the scooter the man is driving his wife was sitting at the pillion a 5 or 6 year old child was standing uh, just before the father in the scooter the mother was keeping a baby in her arms a lorry hit the scooter the husband the wife and the girl standing in front in the scooter all three died on the spot the baby in the arms of the mother was thrown out without a scratch that girl was saved but made orphan in a second made orphan in a second why has that happened for them again i say none of us could say that it will not take place in our house only our desire it should not take place in our house we hear about these type of misfortunes evils taking place in the lives of many people and if it is the result something what we have done are because some retribution we call that a curse there are three different types of curses one is a curse we inherit because of the evil of our parents is an inherited curse we inherit a curse what can i do for what my parents have done see even before you are born your father murders somebody or your father commits adultery he has got a immoral sex relationship with somebody even before you are born now you are born but why were you when your father was committing that sexual immorality where were you you were in his blood stream you were in his blood stream it's not your father committed that adultery you in your father committed that adultery you in your father was doing that idolatry you in your father has done that evil you are in his blood stream it is you that has done number 2 inherited curse when you can inherit blessings from your father or uh, when you can inherit 
assets from your father legally you are responsible for your father's liabilities unga appa udaya sottila ungal kadaikunu sonna unga appa udaya kadaniy neenga dhaan adaikunu unga appa udaya sottalla ungalku urimai ulladhu endru sonnal unga appa udaya kadanukku neenga dhaan poruppu so when you are responsible when you can inherit your father's wealth riches you are liable for his liabilities similarly when you can inherit your parents your ancestors blessings the curses will also in your life that is curses inherit number 2 we have curses in our life because somebody pronounce a uh, because of imprecation in a fit of anger they say nasma pova urupadamat they pronounce an evil on you yes that will come in your life if you are the real cause for it even today in parapsychology they accept it even somebody can think evil against you and if you are responsible for that evil the evil will take place in your life the evil especially your parents your grandparents somebody who is responsible for your blessings when they pronounce evil on you implicate evil on you that's the better word i want to use implicate evil on you and if you are responsible for it if there is no cause that curse will not come you hurt your mother bitterly in that again she said neela urupudiyada unga thaya romba vedana padichitinga அந்த வேதனை தாங்காம அந்த அம்மா ஒரு சாப வார்த்தை சொல்கிறாங்க தட் வில் கம் டு பாஸ் இன் யுவர் லைஃப் இஃப் சம்படி ப்ரொனவுன்சஸ் அ வேர்ட் ஆஃப் ஈவில் ஆன் யூ அண்ட் யூஆர் நாட் அ காஸ் ஃபார் தட் தட் ஈவில் தட் கேர்ஸ் வில் நாட் கம் அப் ஆன் யூ ஜஸ்ட் பிகாஸ் தே செட் இட் வில் நாட் கம் அப் ஆன் யூ பட் இஃப் யூ ஆர் அ ரியல் காஸ் ஃபார் தட் தட் கேர்ஸ் will come up on you so number 1 inherited curse number 2 implicated curse because somebody pronounces an evil on you in parapsychology they say even if they could think evil against you that curse may come in our life and number 3 i'm going to deal with that only this evening improper life when we don't have a proper life before god when we don't have a proper life before god because of our improper life that's not proper life curses will come upon our lives and we should understand our god in a perfect way our god is loving our god loves to bless us our god is merciful our god's loving kindness our god is gentle and we should understand god in his total personality we must have a perception of god in all his totality this god is a jealous god this god can kill god whom we worship will also curse when god curses somebody who can bless and god curses somebody who can bless that person ha huh? is that true god will curse us but that's what the bible says curse of god you and i have to be very careful there are many curses so and so will be cursed so and so will be cursed today the popular preaching the star preachers 
They don't want to talk about curse. Oh, in the New Testament, no curse. No, my dear, no, my dear brother. Jesus died for our curses. When we believe, when we humble yourself, and we confess our sins and the sins of our parents, our forefathers, and when we reconcile to him, we will be delivered from those curses. We will be delivered from those curses. In the cross there is deliverance for us, but it is wrong to say that there is no curse. If you say there is no curse, there is no evil, there is no misfortune. No, not so. Even when he talks to his redeemed people, redeemed by the blood of Paschal Lamb, people with his covenant relationship through the waters of Red Sea, people those who are led by the fire in the night and cloud in the day, people who drank the water from the rock, people who ate manna, even their lives, there were curses. So when our life is not proper before God, curses will come upon us. So we have to be rest assured about that. There are a few Bible passages I want to show with you to start with. In Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. But it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord. It shall come to pass. If you will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord. Voice of the Lord thy God. What? What that I should hearken unto him. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command, I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. It will overtake thee. You don't have any control over that. You cannot contain that. You cannot stop it. It will overtake. Why? The reason here he says, if you don't obey his laws, if you break his principles, if you break his principles. Now please listen, there is one God, there are not many gods. This God for India, this God for America, this God for China, no there are not many gods, there is only one God. Only one God has created the heaven and the earth. That one almighty God, he has got some laws. Laws means, in Tamil we use the word pramanam. The little meaning of the word pramanam is the principle. We say Archimedes laws, laws of Archimedes, laws of flotation. Archimedes law, laws of center of gravity. Law is a principle that binds the physical world. Chemical laws, principle that binds the chemicals. That's a law. Similar law in mathematics. It's a principle. In the spirit world, there are certain principles by which the whole universe is bound. God is bound by that principle. You and I are bound by that principle. That is God's law. It is written in the hearts of all the people. Anywhere and everywhere. Whether they are Christians or Jews or they belong to any other religion. All God's moral laws are written in their hearts. Listen carefully. Take life. Everyone in the world, everyone in the world, they know lying is wrong. No court will appreciate lying. 
no father will appreciate lie all liars we believe go to hell any politician in india will he accept lie any police will he allow lie any court of justice will they allow lie no one likes lies if you say lie your father will not accept but we all lie we all speak lies but in our heart we know lie is wrong if somebody covets over your property you got a good servant your neighbor i got a, a covert longing for your servant when you are not there they talk to your servant how much they are giving they are giving 6000 okay okay i'll give 7000 you come and work for me if somebody covert for your servant will he accept it there's no religion for it when you cannot accept somebody coveting your servant you cannot covet somebody else's servant covetousness is wrong so all the laws is not for jews or for christians all the moral laws it's for all over the world okay accept and understand that first and these moral laws what is written in our hearts they were codified and given as 10 commandments and an exposition to those moral laws that given to the jews or the israelites when they redeemed from egypt those laws have not yet changed either in a lack of understanding or in foolishness or because of uh, willful desire to deceive people some people say even preach there is no in the law in the new testament law is given to the liars law is given to the murderers law is given to the uh, robbers law is not for us yes if you are a righteous person there is no law you don't need a law you don't commit adultery you don't need a law you don't rob by nature you don't need a law you don't speak lie you don't need a law that is the principle with which it is written if you are a righteous person you don't need a law you don't murder and you don't speak lie should there be a law you should not speak lie no law is needed no law is needed my dear brother my dear sister it doesn't mean it doesn't mean it doesn't mean you are under grace so you can speak lies you are under grace so you can commit adultery you are under grace so there can be fornication you can have friendship with five girls a girl can have friendship with 10 boys no rubbish absolute nonsense we don't have law when you are righteous you don't have law you don't commit adultery you don't have law because you have got grace we are not under law it doesn't mean i can sin i am under grace so i can sin it's not only nonsense it is demonic it is demonic you and i have to be extremely careful about it my dear brother my dear sister wherever whenever we break this law who has written this law in our heart who says that we should not lie everybody knows that we should not lie but who says that we should not lie who says that i should not murder the court may give a a sentence okay you murder in this situation life term you murder in this situation so three a five year imprisonment you murder in this situation so hanging the court may decide the law is there but god says 
you should not murder if you break that law god justice will be done on you you can escape the even the court of justice but you can't escape from god it is god's law so whenever we break the god's law god's commandments in our walk of life his curse will come upon us as a punishment we have to pay the price please understand the new testament when we are under grace when we are not committing sin law is not needed i don't lie law is not needed i don't murder law is not needed i don't have a immoral life law is not needed it doesn't mean again i tell you because i am under grace i can sin no please don't misunderstand so whenever we break the law the curse of god will come in our life i can give you a number of passages on that even deuteronomy chapter 11 verse 28 Isaiah chapter 24 verses 5 and 6 in Deuteronomy chapter 9 verse 11 you can make a note of these verses and there are a few more passages where we read whenever we break God's principles there will be a punishment even the world any court of justice even in some countries they may not follow the absolute moral law of god that one god that one god who created the universe my dear brother my dear sister there are some people think there is no absolutes when i say this illustration from the ministry of dr ravi zakaria some people may not feel it very palatable to accept in one of his open forum a man stood up and said there's nothing called absolute good there's nothing called absolute evil one man's food is another man's poison ungalukku adu poison ma irukku enak adu saapada irukku idhan thappu idhan sari appala yaru solla mudiyadhu abdin sir there's nothing absolute good or absolute evil Ravi Zakaria asked, "Have you got a girl child in your house?" "Yes, I got a daughter." "How old is she?" Uh, "16 or 18, some age," he said. He said, "Four men takes her off forcefully to have a sex violence, strips her naked." repeatedly raping her cry crying he said hey man stop stop he said why what's wrong in it it's evil for you that's feast for them it's evil for you for your daughter it's a feast for them can you say there's no absolute evil that man put his head down there is absolute evil evil is evil evil is not the opposite of good evil is not the opposite of good philosophically evil is the absence of good darkness is not the opposite of light you can measure light 5 watts 10 watts 1000 watts 100 watts you can measure light can you measure darkness darkness is the opposite of light cold is the opposite of hot no cold is the absence of hot darkness is the absence of light evil is the absence of good evil is breaking the law of god when we break the law of god in our life there will be god's curse in our life so we have to be very careful about it number 2 deuteronomy chapter 7 we shall read verses 25 and 26 
the graven images of their god shall uh, you shall burn with fire thou shall not desire the silver or gold that is on them nor take it unto thee lest thou be shared therein please underline lest thou be shared therein for it is an abomination to the lord thy god neither shall bring an abomination into thine house lest thou be a cursed thing like it don't bring an abomination into your house or into your possession that you don't become a cursed thing like it but thou shalt utterly detest it and thou shalt utterly abhor it for it is a cursed thing you can read that in verse 28 and also in leviticus chapter 19 verse 26 in the bible you know this story yekan when he brought that babylonian shawl when he lusted it and he brought it into his house his whole family was killed so what is an abomination to god that you should not bring into your life the practice of the other people my dear brother my dear sister it's a very very important thing bringing an abomination something what god doesn't like it may not be an explicit command but certainly it's an implicit command when you desire it what's an abomination to god devan ke edu arvarupanadu devan edai verukkar adha ni virumbod adha onudaya possession la ni vekkumbod adha on veetla konnu vekkumbod adha ni nambumbod adha andar arvarukkar verukkar a curse may come upon our life it's a it's an improper thing it's what god abhors and i cannot keep that in my life god wants to bless me true and i should be worthy of that blessing so think about the things what you possess we have to be very careful about it in this you can include what type of videos you see technology itself is not wrong technology itself is not wrong but how do we use the technology more the advancement of technology accessibility to the evil has become easier when there was a print media then also pornography books were coming pornography pictures were coming அந்த நாட்களில் அச்சு ஊடகம் இருக்கும்போதும் ஆபாச புத்தகங்கள் இருந்தன ஆபாச படங்கள் இருந்தன ஐ நோ சம் பாய்ஸ் கேர்ள்ஸ் இன் அவர் டைம் ஈவன் தே புட் அ ரேப்பர் டு த புக் சம் பேட் புக்ஸ் சில கெட்ட புத்தகங்கள் அந்த அட்டை படம் தெரியாத மாதிரி அதுக்கு மேலே ஒரு அட்டை போட்டு they'll have a cover on it and they'll read it it's very difficult to cover it from others to cover it from parents so even when there was print media there was evil. even before that the evil was there when print media came it is easier for the accessibility when the cinema came it's much easier that you can go sit there watch the movie they call that pesum padam before that the padam will not speak even there was a tamil magazine i don't know it's the pesum padam 
that's the title they gave earlier for movie pesum padam that picture speaks so the accessibility ye will became easier then the television came pesum padam has come into our house there were there were control over screenings the channels may not screen all porno movies then satellite came different telecasting stations came now youtube has come ai has come smartphones have come everything is in our hand in those days we can see maximum four movies in a day morning show afternoon show matinee show they call it first show second show maximum four movies for that we have to spend the whole day generally no one will see four movies maybe two or three in a day that's also in a month now it's in your hand you can see any number of movies at any time the accessibility has become easier so technology itself is not wrong but for what purpose you use the technology what is that you see in that smartphone you just buy an ordinary newspaper a daily newspaper there are bad pictures so newspaper itself is not wrong but what is that you see in that newspaper what attracts you if you desire what is abomination to god in your life god's curse will come into your in your life earlier that evil was one day in the theater now that evil is in your house that evil is in your pocket the evil is in your hand that enslaves people so if you yield to any abomination in your life many times even we don't know what is that abomination what is that an abomination my dear brother my dear sister there are many dolls there are many dolls which are created by witches they are created by witches my dear brother my dear sister what is that you keep in your house the stuffed dolls you take teddy bear teddy bear they have a story it come from theodore roosevelt the pre- once president of america his name was teddy etc etc but why people especially girls love teddy bear other than any other stuffed doll stuffed dolls are not good but any other stuffed doll my dear brother my dear sister bear was a rude animal very rude animal it has been a sign for evil they made that bear a fascinating a soothing dog people love to especially girls love to hug it they want to sleep with it they want to keep it by their side why what is the spell in it do we have a tiger like that tiger dog give that fascination as the teddy bear gives that has made people love that rude animal sleep with that rude animal hug that rude animal kiss that rude animal in an extreme sense 
they do evil with that do rude animal my dear brother my dear sister what is that we keep in our house what is the program we see in our house what is fascinating in our life that will cause a curse if we possess cursed thing god has cursed it we possess cursed thing in our life if we are fascinated over cursed things evil things curse will come in our life i can go on and on and on but to save time i got a number of verses to share with you now to save time i'm not getting into all those things but we have to be very careful that we should be away from the curses my dear brother my dear sister we have to be very very careful about it and number 3 number three, when we break god's laws number 2 when we are bound with the abominations what is abomination to god should be an abomination to us and number 3 when we are bound by or bound with spiritism spiritualism is different spiritism is different spiritism what do, what do i mean by spiritism we got a copy of the bible turn with us to deuteronomy chapter 18 i shall read from verse 10 Just I read the whole passage. There shall not be found among you any one that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that lusteth divination, Joshua, could you get it? Or an observer of times, Nal Bakrat, or an enchanter, could you get it? Just a few other passages. Or a witch, Sunio. or a charmer in the mantra vadrat or a consulter with familiar spirits or a wizard or a neocromanesher for all that do these things are abomination unto the lord getting into a spiritism engal kuri keka porud josh engal keka porud sunya seyadu நல்ல நாள் கெட்ட நாள் பார்க்குறது இப்படிப்பட்ட காரியங்கள் தேவனுக்கு அறுவறுப்பானது ஹூ கெட் இன்வால்வ் இன் தீஸ் திங்ஸ் இஃப் வாண்ட் யூ கேன் மேக் அ நோட் ஆஃப் திஸ் ஐசாயா ஃபார்ட்டி செவன் வேர்ஸ் தேர்ட்டீன் தோஸ் ஹூ டூ தீஸ் திங்ஸ் இட்ஸ் அன் அபாமினேஷன் டு காட் ஈவன் இன் த கிறிஸ்டியன்ஸ் ஐ எம் நாட் அகேன்ஸ்ட் த கிஃப்ட் ஆஃப் ப்ராஃபசி பட் த இன்டென்ஷன் இஸ் விச் you go to ask for a prophecy and the intention with which they use the gift of prophecy or they cheat people we have to be very careful that enchanters those who prophesy kuripa solrud maamiyar ponna marumaga sooni vechitan solluvanga prophecy marumaga ponna maamiyar dhan sooni vechitan solluvanga edho onnu kuripa solluvanga குறி சொல்கிறது குறி சொல்கிறதுனா வேற ஒன்றும் இல்லை குறிப்பாக சொல்கிறது சூனியம் வைக்கிறது தே ஆர் நாட் டூயிங் தே ஆர் தே ஆர் அன்னேபிள் டு டூ ஈவில் டு அதர்ஸ் ஸோ த யூஸ் அ ஸ்பிரிட் டு டூ தட் ஈவில் தே யூஸ் த ஸ்பிரிட் டு டூ த ஈவில் ஒன் டே ஒன் ஆஃப் அவர் பிலீவர்ஸ் ஹி டைட் ஹி பிராட் இஸ் கொலீக் டு ப்ரேயர் ஹி பிராட் இஸ் கொலீக் டு ப்ரேயர் தட் கொலீக் வாஸ் அ கிறிஸ்டியன் that colleagues a father in law was a priest when this man was brought to me when i was praying for him i could feel he was possessed by an evil spirit and the lord revealed he got involved in this witchcraft activities when the lord revealed and when i asked him whether he involved in witchcraft activities he said yes he said he has done witchcraft activities against his manager he was telling me 
We can't do anything with the manager, so I went with some friends to a witch to do some sunyam against my manager. And ironically, that manager was my friend. It was a rude shock. I didn't tell the manager. Even Christians involved in these type of evil things. My dear brother, my dear sister, many times we, we use the Bible also for this type of enchanting. As Clegiosium, they take a promise card. What's the promise the Lord gives me? Let me say, we take a promise card. If they don't like that promise, they'll put that card and they'll take another card. We have to be very careful. When we get involved in spiritual activities, curse will come upon our life. And number four, this is very, very important. Please turn with me to the Bible. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 5. Thus saith the Lord God. Thus saith the Lord God. Cursed be the man that trusteth in man. And make it flesh his song. And whose heart departed from the Lord. When our heart departs from the Lord, when we beguile to leave God, instead of trusting in God, we trust in man. Curse will come. We trust in our own flesh. Yesterday I was talking to one person. I told him, five things can take place in anybody's life at any time. Nobody can stop it. At any time, an accident can take place. Whether you are very skillful or not. You are going in a flight. You are going in a train. You are driving your own vehicle. Accident can take place at any time. We can't stop it. I was telling one person, one person from another religion I was telling. Number two, sickness, disease can come at any time. A very multi-millionaire. He died in Corona. Nobody can stop it. Disease can come at any time. Number three, poverty can come at any time. Many rich people, they become suddenly poor. Poverty can come at any time. We cannot stop it. Loss of dear ones. Husband, wife, parents, children, brother, sister, loved ones. Anytime we may miss them. We cannot stop it. Number five, death can take place at any time. And I told him these five things. And I told me one more thing. I told me one more thing, the sixth one, anytime rapture can take place. Anytime rapture can take place. A paranala accident narakala. A paranala vyadi varla. A paranala varuma varla. A paranala namde uravihal illama pohala. A paranala namakamarana varla. My dear brother, my dear sister, we cannot trust our own flesh. You cannot tell somebody, I trust you like God. Curse will come in our life. I can do all things through Christ that strengtheneth me. I cannot trust my own flesh. I cannot trust my own flesh. I don't know what will happen to anyone at what time. So when we depart from God, 
Without not denying God. Trusting men, trusting our own flesh, trusting our money. Cursed be that person. Cursed be that person. I just show you one more passage. And before we could pray that the Lord would deliver us from curses. And it's a passage that we have considered a few times. Uh, Malachi, chapter, Malachi chapter 3 verses 8, 9 and 10. Uh, will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. But you say, wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. The, the Bible says, you are cursed with a curse. You are cursed with a curse. Why? For you have robbed me. For you have robbed me. Even the whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes in the storehouses that there may be meat in thine house and prove me how herewith say the Lord of hosts if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing there shall not be room enough to receive it. It's not just for tithes or offering. When we fail to honor the Lord when we fail to say thank you, Lord, in a proper way for all the blessings what we have received, curse will come in our life. Curse will come in our life. In Proverbs chapter 3 verse 9, honor the Lord with all your substance. Honor the Lord. When God gives fruits, bring the first fruits. When God gives a job, bring the first fruits. My dear brother, my dear sister, in our church we lack no good thing. But for your blessing, for your blessing, I follow that. I follow that, I follow that. And when you bring, you must follow God's direction. How you want to honor the Lord with your substance? Is it a charity? Is it giving to the poor? Because you are rich? When you are giving something to someone, your hand is upper and one who receives, his hand is below. No, no. Tithing is not that you are giving to the Lord. You are not giving to the Lord. It's not because the church needs, not because the pastor needs. No. You are honoring the Lord. You are honoring the Lord. My dear brother, my dear sister, you bring it to your pastor, the Lord has given you, to show your gratitude, not doing a charity to somebody. You show charity, that's good. Have concern for the poor, the Lord will bless you. But honoring the Lord is different. Helping the poor, any human being will do. It's not only a sign of Christians, or God's people. Even others, those who worship their own idols, they see God in their idols and they worship, they also help the poor. And atheists, those who don't believe in God, they may help poor in a greater way. So helping the poor is not honoring God. But surely God will give that in return to you. We should help the poor. We should help the suffering. But that's not honoring God. Somebody has gone to a missionary work, so I want to give that to the missionary. Yes, that's good. But God has sent him. So you want to support him because you've got property, you've got wealth, you've got income. You want to support him. You become greater and he is in your support. No, that's not honoring God. You honor God. Show gratitude to him. Thank you, Lord, for all the blessings I have received. When we don't honor the Lord in the way that God should be honored, a curse will come. When we honor the Lord, blessings will come. My dear brother, my dear sister, 
God willing in the days to come. I'll show you how we can be delivered from these curses. Why should we pine away? Why should we be cursed? Whether it may be an inherited curse, curse because of implication, curse because of an improper life. Jesus died on the cross that he would deliver us from our curses and bless us with all his blessings. He desires to bless his people. He desires to bless you. A misfortune has taken place in your life. All misfortunes, I don't say curses. But it may be because of a curse, an evil, something bad. If you are responsible for that evil, confess it to the Lord. If your improper life is the cause for the evil, confess it to the Lord. If the Lord has given that as a test for you, how do you know that evil is a test for me? There will be a joy in your heart even at the time of that evil. You will praise God for that evil. Then it is what God has permitted in your life for your own good. If you are getting vexed, if you are pining away, sick, it breaks your heart. You are sorrowful because of an evil. It may be a curse. The Lord has permitted you. There are many more reasons. Just I have shown you five reasons. When you break the law of God. When you possess an evil thing in your life. What is the abomination to God? When you are bound with spiritism. When you are bound with spiritism. When you put your trust. Or when you depart from God in your life. And when you fail to honor God, honor, in every possible way, not only paying tithes, when you fail to honor God, when you fail to give unto God what is due to Him, when you don't give the place that is for God, curse may come. That's because of an improper life. I love to pray with you. If possible, please stand to your feet. Now we look at Jebikere. ஒரு வேளை முற்பிதாக்களால் வந்த சாபமாக இருக்கலாம் இல்லை உங்கள் மேலே யாரோ சொன்ன சாப சொல் அதுக்கு நீங்கள் காரணமாக இருந்தபடினால உங்கள் வாழ்க்கையில் பலிச்சிருக்கலாம் இல்லை உங்கள் வாழ்க்கை கர்த்தருக்கு ஏற்புடைய ஒரு வாழ்க்கையாக இல்லாததுனால கர்த்தருக்கு பிரியமில்லாத காரியங்களுக்கு உங்கள் வாழ்க்கையில் நீங்கள் இடம் கொடுத்ததுனால ஒரு வேளை இந்த சாபம் இந்த ஈவில் உங்களை போட்டு அலக்களிக்கலாம் கர்ச்சித்தமான இதை குறித்து இன்னும் தெளிவாக வரைய நாட்களில் நான் உங்களோடு கூட பகிர்ந்து கொள்வேன் இப்போ நான் உங்களுக்கு அஜபிக்க விரும்புகிறேன் அன் ஈவில் எ மிஸ் வாட்ச் அகேன்ஸ்ட் விச் யூ குட் டூ நத்திங் ஏதோ ஒரு தீமை தீங்கு ஒரு வேதனை ஒரு கஷ்டம் ஒரு துயரம் சியோனில் துயரப்படுகிறவர் எ குட் கிறிஸ்டியன் சஃபரிங் ஈவில் brokenness you could do nothing about it just examine yourself have you broken the law of god in your life are you possessing anything that is abominable to god in your life in your possession in your house or something you desire in one way or the other are you bound with spiritism think for a minute think for a minute In your heart, do you depart from God, God's ways, God's principle? They will be able to live with you. They will be able to live with you. They will be able to live with you. You will be able to live with your mom. I will be able to live with you. I will be able to live with you. If you will be able to live with your man, you will be able to live with your man. You will be able to live with your man. You will be able to live with us. தேவங்களை ஆசீர்வதிக்க விரும்புகிறாரு கல்வாறு சிலுவையில் ரத்தம் உங்களை சாபத்திலிருந்து விடுவிக்கும் இன்றைக்கு கர்த்த பக்கம் திரும்புங்க கர்த்தரோட நல்மனம் பொருந்துங்க உங்கள் ஆசீர்வாதத்துக்காக சாபத்தை பற்றி பேசியிருக்கிறேன் உங்களுக்கு சாபம் வரணும் என்றால் அந்த சாபத்திலிருந்து நீங்கள் விடுதலை ஆகணும் அந்த அன்பினால் தேவ ஆவினால் நெருக்கப்பட்டு நான் பேசியிருக்கிறேன் 
because the spirit of the lord constrain me to speak to you he designs that we should come out of the curses hallelujah dear father god praise the lord the very ungalukaga na chebikre tamil tamil la chebike pore sabathil irukkiravan kattude mugathu nokki paarenga andu vera enak vidudile tharun kelunga anbin yesuvem de pillegalukaga adi menai thaalthi chebikre உம்முடைய பிள்ளைகள் உம்முடைய எல்லா சாபங்களும் இந்த விடுதலையாக்க வேண்டவர் கல்வாரி சிலுவையின் ரத்தத்தினால் கல்வாரி சிலுவையில் எங்களுடைய பாவங்களை மாத்திரமில்லை எங்களுடைய சாபங்களையும் சுமந்து தீத்திரையா யூ ஹேவ் டேக்கின் அவே அவர் ஆல் ஓவர் கேர்ஸஸ் இந்த கிராஸ் ஆஃப் கேல்வரி உள்ளார் அந்த கல்வாரியினுடைய அன்பு உம்முடைய பிள்ளைகளை சாபங்கள் இருந்து விடுவிக்கிட்ட ஆண்டவர் பிள்ளைகளுக்காக பிள்ளைகளின் பிள்ளைகளுக்காக அவர் பிள்ளைகளுக்காக சந்ததிக்காக செபிக்கிறார் and every for our children and the children of our children for all of our generation i pray o oh lord deliver your people from all curses o oh master god all evil all misfortunes o oh lord dear father god end of us saba challanal seri unga pillai mele balikka venda andavare rathathala ala kalivi suthigiri aashirvadathukku paathramaayi unga pillai nilai niruthu andavare umai ganapaduthuvadhila ஆண்டவரே உண்மை கனப்படுத்துவதில் அங்கே தவறி இருந்தார் எங்களை மன்னிங்கப்பா என்ன மன்னிங்க ஆண்டவர் எங்களை மன்னியும் ஆண்டவர் எங்களை மன்னியும் ஆண்டவர் ஓப்பன் த விண்டோஸ் ஆஃப் ஹெவன் அண்ட் ஷவர் யுவர் பிளஸ்ஸிங்ஸ் அப்பான் யுவர் பீப்புள் உள்ளார் வானத்தின் பலகனிகளை திறந்து இடம் கொள்ளாமல் போக மற்றும் ஜனத்தை ஆசீர்வதிங்கிறதாவே தட் தட் ஷுட் நாட் பி ரூம் என் டு ரிசீவ் அ பிளஸ்ஸிங்ஸ் உள்ளார் ஆசீர்வதி ஆசீர்வதி இந்த செய்தியை கேட்ட ஒருவர் ஆகிய என்ன என்னை தாழ்த்தி ஜபிக்கிறேன் இந்த செய்தியை கேட்க போகிற ஒருவர் ஆகிய சாபத்துக்குள்ள இருக்கக்கூடாது ஆண்டவரே இந்த சாபத்துக்குள்ள இருக்கக்கூடாது ஆண்டவரே டெலிவர் ஃப்ரம் ஆல் தியர் கேர்சஸ் இன்ஹெரிட்டட் கேர்சஸ் ஆர் இம்ப்ளிகேட்டட் கேர்சஸ் ஆர் கேர்சஸ் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் இம் ப்ராப்பர் லைஃப் உள்ளார் உடைய பிள்ளைகளுக்கு உடைய விடுதலையை கட்டளையிடுங்க ஐயா உமக்கு நன்றி உமக்கு நன்றி உமக்கு நன்றி ஏசுவின் நாமத்தில் பிதாவே ஆமே